Desperate times call for desperate measures. Do you remember my 2020 video about this fake Jewish rabbi Mort? This guy is nothing but a Muslim and I can actually prove it to you if you're still confused about it. Guys, are you sure that Rob Christian has no proof? Still? Really? Watch. Assalamu alaikum, my friend. I have a message to all my Ishmaelite brothers. La ilaha illallah, Muhammadan Rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum. What the hell is this? A'udhu billah. We have seen the evidence. You cannot escape anymore. You're finished. A'udhu billah. Everyone will unfollow you now. But when we see a Muslim who is going to pretend to be a Jewish rabbi, especially a rabbi, we're going to spank him, grab him by his beard, like his fake prophet, and expose him for everybody to see. And we prove to you again, yet again, for the second time, that he's nothing but a Muslim pretending to be a Jew. You saw his Shahada, right? I hope you are not confused anymore about this fake Jew, this Muslim who just took his Shahada. Don't allow anybody to fool you. This Muslim fraud who could not even speak Hebrew, he reminded me of these desperate Muslims who used to join our rooms on Paul Talk in the old days, pretending to be Christians. Yet, when we allowed them to take the mic and speak, they would not dare to denounce Muhammad and call him a fake prophet, proving that they are Muslims in disguise. Now, finally the cat is out of the bag. And this fake Jewish rabbi, this Muslim, officially took his shahada again. It turned out that he, even his own parents were a bunch of Muslims. After all, he was never a Jew to begin with. Now here is more to expose him. For years, this Muslim tried to trick Jews into following Islam by posing as an orthodox rabbi. My name is Rabbi Moore. My wife, Ravisa Summer. Well, this fake Jew just made headlines by publicly converting to Islam. Muhammadan, Muhammadan, Rasulullah, Rasulullah. So why am I calling him a fraud? Well, the first clue was he ran a synagogue called Mahi Ministries. Now, Jews don't do ministries. We leave the ministries to the Christians. The next clue was their names. Mort was short for Morteza Javadi, and his wife was Aaron Summer Kuntz. Now, they sure don't sound Jewish names, but the biggest giveaway was their videos. Meet the first rabbi in the world that can't speak Hebrew. We'll start off with a quick prayer. Aromimcha Hashem, ki deltani. Shalom Yerushalem. What rabbi doesn't know the Hebrew word for Jerusalem? It's not Yerushalem, it's Yerushalayim. <laughs> Seriously, this is like an imam that doesn't know Mecca. In all honesty, they come across as messianic Christians pretending to be Jewish, which they deny. We're not messianic. We're not. So if she's not a Christian, how does she explain this cross? Why does she say that Christ is her savior? And before anyone says it, no, her mother isn't Jewish. But what about the rabbi? Rabbi Moore is Jewish, okay? So he has Ashkenazi, he has Mizrahi, Iraqi, Iranian, uh, Eastern European Jewry within his veins. So if he's all of those different types of Jew, why did she just say he was Iranian on Instagram? I can tell you why. It's because his parents are Iranian Muslims. But for years, Morteza went by the name Mick and even attended this messianic prayer hall, which he gave a five-star rating. So is he Jewish, Muslim, or Christian? Well, things begin to make sense when they launched the ministry, as they began to post Islamic content, like the word Allah in Hebrew, and they claimed that Jews can follow Islam, and they even posted hadiths about Muhammad being really smiley. So what was their grift? Well, I suspect that Morteza faked being Jewish so that he could persuade Christians and Jews to embrace Islam. He then used this fake identity to demonize Israel. They loved attacking Israel. Like in this post where Summer calls Israelis ungodly and she professes their support of the PLO. They even claim Jesus was Palestinian. Our Jesus was Palestinian. Okay, so who wants to tell these grifters that Jesus was a Jew from Judea and that the area wasn't even renamed Palestina until after he died? They also repeatedly claimed that Judaism teaches Muhammad is a prophet. 
Muhammad, the Ishmaelite prophet in the Bible. Just stop. Stop with all of these lies. There aren't any prophecies about Muhammad in the Bible. It's another lie. And I guess the greatest lie that he told was presenting himself as an Orthodox rabbi converting to Islam with his entire family in the hope that others would follow and abandon their faith. Now hundreds of thousands of people have already watched their fake conversion. So it's really important that you share this video to make sure that no one else is taken in by these charlatans 